Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. Today, we're going to look at a bigger perspective of time. We're going to use different indicators to kind of give us a projection of what price is going to do. Right now, we are going to be using the CDV, the volume profile that is going to be very important, very key structural notes for us to look at low volume and of course, high volume and where is our point of control. This is going to dictate exactly where price is moving. Are we trapped in a range or do we escape a range and are we going to a different one? So think about this as gravity. So the low volume nodes are going to be the top section right here and of course the bottom section high volume nodes are going to be the hv the high volume nodes it's going to be exactly the point of control poc right here so it's going to be roughly 0.0006207 that is your point of control but of course your high volume what we're expecting is price to get out of this node try to break the low volume and try to respect it as support and bounce off of this right now price is not doing that it's a bad sign because price is holding in the middle this is very very dangerous because now it's going to be a sideways action and if you're not a trader and you're an investor guess what you're going to be holding for a longer period of time if you are a trader please take this note as great descriptions for your entries and your exits as well so if you're buying at the bottom look for 0.00057 go towards the point of control and if you're selling sell from the 0.0006612 level i'm going to be trading this exact location every single time I want to talk to you guys about CDV and why it's important. This is like a delta profiling, delta volume or delta numbers to kind of tell us, is there a lot of buyers? Is there a lot of sellers and what it's exactly doing? So you can use this as a keynote and use it in your other prescriptions as different trading mechanisms. Okay. Take a look at this. You guys can see we had high volume. And of course, look at the delta spike right here. We had a massive amount of delta and prices barely pushed higher than the previous swing right here. Look at the low delta and look at how far the price moved up this is showing us with less effort we have continuously pushed price higher with more effort we only pushed exact amount so that means we're seeing a high degree of exhaustion and that's why prices fell with high volume and right here you see there's no real trades until prices break 0 0.0006 and 9 ish and once price breaks above it that's the time that i'm going to be looking to buy my only token at a higher lot or a higher value a higher bag because the reasons why look at this very carefully guys and this is going to shock you in a sense with low amount of volume look at how far we have pushed down this is a sign that the sellers are in control and that's why i'm not really looking to take a lot of buys right now i'm holding off a little because once price went all the way towards the top and you can see the vwap we kind of failed to go a little bit higher so this is showing me respect in the market so right now it is not a good time to buy i think more or less it's a hold if you are a trader of course buy sell buy sell inside this channel we're waiting for the break but right now guys this is a weekly setup we're seeing sideways movement i wouldn't really do anything so if you guys are looking to buy more only token there might be a better chance the price might break below we could get it a dirt cheap price and then we could buy it back up towards the upside if prices do break the 0.00069 ish level and then that's the opportunity to start buying back your only token at a retest of that structure look for your absorption on your footprints please guys make sure to put all of these into perspective before you take a trade go to a lower time frame scale down and get some entries in there other than that thank you so much take it easy and john out peace